Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards, when you ask why me, and what if. When you look back, see the branches, like a pruned bonsai tree, or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. There! Alert! They're here! Damn! Mona! I'll climb down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor, you take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can... Incoming! Mama, Mama! My little Valentine! 
It happened years ago, but I can still hear the voice of my lord calling out to me, saying, My lady. My lady. Work our way deeper into the building. Look for Woden or Vlad. All right. Check the other wing. Right. any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. We are going to make a beautiful exit. Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. Saxon Payne, they're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before... Mona was still on the case. Mind 
ending finale in our return to Sender Marathon, the last episode of Address Unknown ever. The poet Poole in his poem, Somebody's Been Wearing My Face Again, wrote, In this hall of mirrors built by liars, I am a pale reflection of myself. I had escaped from the Big Bird Mental Institute. I was lost in Noir, York City. I couldn't find my way back home. John Mira had made me a killer. I had become him, John Mira. Maybe I had always been him. John Mira? Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. <laughs> in his panic room at the back of the manor. See you there! Here, let me. This way. Mona knew the manor. She was working for Woke. Glad it told me the truth. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, uh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. 
bullet lodged in my brain moved to fatal, microscopic distance.